Hello and welcome to this video. On this video I'm going to be doing some fuel system maintenance on my 1995 S320 Mercedes. This is the W140 body style. And a couple of weeks ago I replaced the fuel filter and when I did I found the lines were there from 1995. One of them was so rotted it was leaking a lot of fuel so I replaced it. And then uh, when I went to start the car up a couple days ago I noticed there was still a leak so it's either the same spot or a different area because all the lines are rotted so I've ordered all the lines I'll show you that here in a few minutes what we need to do the job but let's talk about safety first I'll be wearing safety glasses while I'm working on the fuel system also I have ramps um, I'm sorry wheel chocks on the front wheels uh, two per wheel I also have put the car onto jack stands that have the flat tops that can hold this amount of weight I've put some safety jack stands in the back in case anything falls. I have an additional safety jack stand on the right side where I'll mostly be working. Um, in addition, we'll keep the, uh, the uh, hydraulic jack slightly with some slight pressure against the differential, which is the central jacking point. And so we'll be all ready to do that. My other safety things is I'll be wearing safety glasses, of course, some rubber gloves, and I'll have a halon extinguisher nearby with somebody manning it just in case something happens. And I'll do my very best to make sure there's no ignition sources nearby so that when I drain all the gas out of the tank, we can do that safely. And I'll show you all that later in the video. First thing I'm gonna do though, is show you what all the supplies are that you need. On a Mercedes, it uses metric fuel line. You could probably substitute American high pressure uh, fuel hose in, but I went ahead and ordered it from Mercedes. It's about $40 a meter which is about three feet, very expensive, but it's the genuine article made in Germany to the exact specification. I also went and purchased some hose clamps and things, and I'll show you all that here in a minute, and then we'll get started. Some of the items you're gonna need for this fuel line service and replacement are the main fuel line that goes from the fuel tank to the inlet of the fuel pump. It's a special Mercedes part, and we'll give you the part number on the descriptor. You're gonna need some raw Mercedes fuel line. This is a metric fuel line. It's made by Contatec, so you can actually order it on Amazon from a company that sells Contatec separately. Otherwise, it's about $40 from the dealer for a meter. You're gonna need some genuine Mercedes hose clamps, which uh, I have here. You're gonna need some cutters for the fuel line, some safety glasses, a 22 millimeter wrench in order to get the uh, main fuel line off from the tank. You'll also need a 46 millimeter socket if you decide to pull the filter screen out of the tank. You're gonna need one of these special pliers here that crimps these uh, type of bands that go on some of the fuel lines. These are a single use band where you clamp them. They're made out of stainless steel. And the original Mercedes comes with those. I'm going to try to use those and clamps. I'll see how it works out. And we'll check that out as we go further. And that's pretty much all you're gonna to need to get started. There's a plastic panel that's located right in front of the passenger side rear wheel. And that's the panel you're gonna to have to pull off to get access to the fuel pump and the fuel lines. And it's got three plastic nuts that hold it in place. And you'll need an extension to get up and get in there. And those plastic pieces break really easily, the nuts do, so you may wanna order some extras from Mercedes. Okay, I'm underneath the car now and I'm getting ready to take this plastic cover off right here. and. Way up underneath there is a 10 millimeter nut. And then towards the front of the cover, you see those two little indents. There's sort of one there and one there. There's two 10 millimeter nuts in there. I'm gonna take those loose. And then I'm gonna show you where the uh, fuel pump and fuel filter are. Okay, here's the fuel pump right there. It's got the blue on it and the fuel filter. And there's a hose here that goes up to feed the engine. I'm gonna replace that. There's a hose between the fuel pump and fuel filter. I'm gonna replace that. And there's a large feeder hose from the fuel tank. I'm hoping to replace that as well. So I won't be able to film it because I don't want anything electronic or anything that could create a spark or a flame near it. I do have my halon extinguisher nearby and so I'm going to try to work safe and slow and get this done and then I'll come back and we'll talk about it. 
Okay, at this point what I've done is I've changed just the high pressure hoses with genuine Mercedes hose and used um, Mercedes clamps because they get on there nice and tight. I decided not to change the hose that comes from the fuel tank because I couldn't, didn't have enough room really to work and that hose seems to still be pretty pliable so I'm just going to leave it alone for right now. So now I'll put the cover back on and I'm going to take a look under the engine and see if I can find the other high pressure hose and replace it. Well, I looked under the hood for the flexible fuel line that goes from the chassis to the engine and couldn't find it anywhere. I looked along the common fuel rail. I looked at um, where the pressure regulator is for the fuel. Didn't find it for sure. I think I may have found it, but if it is, it's a special Mercedes part. It's like it's about two and a half feet long with some special ends on it. So I'll have to do some more investigation. That's all there is to this video. At least I got the two that were leaking replaced. And so now we're ready to roll.